Hi parents, this is just a quick video to help you navigate and sign in and use um, Google so that you can access all of the online platforms that we use throughout the school day. So the first thing you want to do is when you are on the Google page, you'll need to sign in. It's the blue button in the corner. You are going to sign in using your student's email and password. Um, so the email is always going to be their first name dot their last name at stu.fayette.kyschools.us. Since they are a student, they will have that stu.fayette.kyschools. Um, I'm a teacher, so I don't have to put that one in mine. So I'm going to delete that really quick. Next, it will ask for their password. The password they use is the same password that they have to use to log on to their Chromebook. So make sure you really have your scholar think about what they type in when they log into their Chromebooks every day. And that's what you're going to type here. If they do not remember, you may contact your teacher and they may have a list with the passwords on it and can get you that password or we can reset it for you. Okay. Then hit next. Now you are logged into their account. If you look in the corner, it's changed from sign in to a little circle with their icon. Um, from here, you can access Wonders and, and Investigations and Success Maker by going to the waffle. The waffle is the little square um, that looks like a waffle that you can eat. So you just click on it, it has their account, their drive their Google Classroom already logged in and ready to go. If you scroll all the way down, then you see these. Connect Ed, when you click on that, that is our online wonders program, which is what we use for reading. So it'll take you to a screen like this. Mine looks a little different because I am a teacher. Um, theirs will just show like this, and they can click on this. Wonders Grade 1. Make sure you select Home Room. And then it'll pull up a screen showing them all of these options. If we assign work on Wonders, then they can go here to do, or they can access um, our Wonders books and different um, resources on there and games. So that's for reading. Go back to the waffle all the way down and then look at Easy Bridge. Easy Bridge is going to take you to all of our math resources, um, which includes Success Maker and Investigations. So Success Maker is basically just like Lexia, except it's for math. It's right on their level, it's their own account, and it follows them as they grow. When you're looking at this page, you want to make sure you click this one. This will take you straight to their account without asking them to log in. If you click over here, it's going to ask you to log in, and that's just a process that you don't want to have to do every time. So click over here, and it'll take you to their account. Or if they want to practice um, or watch some videos from investigations, they can click on this. And they can go to browse or they could go to classes. Um, browse, they can look at all of the units, all of the games, classes is whatever their teacher has assigned. So they can use that to play um, the games that we've learned in class, the math games. They can use that to watch videos for each lesson or they can use that for extra practice or work. Um, but it's always good to be able to access that. Okay, so everything we use can be accessed through this waffle. If you have multiple scholars using one Chromebook and you want to be able to get to another scholar's work, you can add another account and just go through the same process with that um, with the other scholar's information. And then you'll be able to switch back and forth between their accounts so that they can log in without having to go through this whole process every single